Welcome back to the channel, my friends. Today we are checking out another tool from Vera. This is the Craftform Compact 25. Let's take a look at this baby here. So I purchased this tool off of Amazon and I was thinking to myself when I purchased it that besides the Craftform screwdrivers, this might be a good first tool to get from Vera. Uh, it comes in at about $36, $37. Uh, I'm sure some places it's more, some places maybe less. But this is a pretty neat little tool, and I'm going to go over it with you guys. So whenever you buy this tool, you know, you get your standard bear box. You get a sticker, a Tool Rebel sticker, which is right here. That actually comes with all of Vera's tools. Uh, you get another piece of Velcro that you can put to something and, you know, mount it. You get this cool little carrying case, which comes with a belt loop. You can integrate it if you have the Wear to go system or Vera to go system, whatever you want to call it. And uh, this is just a pretty good little utility tool to have uh, for a few reasons. So you get this little pamphlet here and it kind of, it's kind of like some marketing stuff. But something that I found really funny is, is, if you look here, so it says the benefits, the craft form handle, the craft form handle shaped by the hand provides a tremendous grip with a unique multi-component hard and soft zones, composition providing optimal contact zones for the muscle of the hand. As a result, the craft form handle provides better, look at that, earning power, which I think that's a typo. I think it's supposed to be turning power. But I thought that was really funny because where uh, Vera sells like high end tools, I mean, their tools aren't cheap. And I guess whoever was in charge of editing the material that comes with the actual tool itself uh, and the marketing material, they must have fell asleep on that one because that's that's not a word I've ever seen before. But anyways, I thought that was funny. I wanted to show you guys that. But nonetheless the tool is it's a good tool so to go over some of the features of the tool like i said it, it's a good all-around utility tool so if you're going on a service call or doing estimates or anything where you're not going to be there for a long time where you just need to take a minimal amount of tools with you this is a good option because it pops open just like the ratcheting screwdriver so you have all your bid options here. You have three flats and you have three sizes of uh, Phillips. Now, the cool thing about this is, is in this particular size, obviously it's really compact, but if you need to get some extra length and extra leverage, you can get that um, by simply pulling this collar down and that extends the shaft, which gives you a longer screwdriver. It does come with the wrap adapter which is really, it's really a good system. Once you put that bit in there, you know, it's not coming out unless you pull forward, it pops it out, and there you go. Now, I will say the shaft in here, it's a little, it's a little, little shaky in there. It's not a real, real tight fit, but with this particular tool, you, you really can't expect a whole much a whole lot more because this is a shaft that you can remove it's removable so just like with anything where you have a removable shaft um, it's that's not going to be real tight in there so there is a little bit of play in that so if you look how I'm holding the shaft here you, I can still turn the handle without the handle actually engaging the shaft or engaging the screw that's not giving me any problems in using it. And to be able to remove the shaft and put on other bit holders, uh, that's an advantage too. I kind of overlook that on something like this versus the ratcheting screwdriver. So I did a review on this before and I'll put a link in the upper right hand corner if you want to go back and check that out. Uh, but the ratcheting screwdriver has a lot of play in the shaft and this isn't a removable shaft. You know, this is actually a shaft that is permanently affixed to the handle. So with a tool company like Vera, I, I, I would definitely expect tighter tolerance than you know what they have with the ratchet and screwdriver. However, with this, you know, I do kind of give that a pass just because the shaft is removable. Now, 
I think this could be a good first purchase. If you're looking to get into Vera tools, this could be a really good first tool to get. The ratcheting screwdriver, it's about $10, $15 more. I do like the ratcheting screwdriver. However, it is a good bit heavier and obviously it's a lot longer. So if you're, you know, in tight places a lot and, you know, you need that versatility to be able to go from short to long, uh, from Phillips to flathead, or you can even put torque spits in here or what have you. This is a really good utility tool to have. The only downside that I see with this, the 25 and the ratcheting screwdriver is the fact that it doesn't have the laser tip. So if we look at the regular craft form screwdrivers, you see the laser tip. That makes a huge difference. I mean, these really bite into whatever fastener it is that you're that you're trying to drill or trying to screw in it makes a huge difference. I, I did do a review on these as well, the whole set, and I'll put the link up here if you want to go back and check that out. But besides these, this really ought to be your first purchase. Vera screwdriver set by far should be your first purchase. After that, I think this is a good purchase too because you still have that great handle. The ergonomics of a Vera screwdriver, it, it's unmatched. So whether this is you know, your first Vera tool or your third, fourth, or fifth, whatever, if you own this tool, I think a really good accessory to have with it is the bit check. Just because you get so many uh, bit options with it. And of course, you can customize your KK25 with, they have Posi Drive, of course you have your Phillips, you have your Hex Drive, and these are actually the Hex Plus, not the regular Hex. So if you look, it kind of has like a little, little concave action. The walls aren't straight to these um, Hex bits. So these are really, really good hex bits. And then of course you got your torques, you got your security torques, but this is gonna run you about, about the same price that this is gonna run you. So in all to get these two, you're really looking at about 80 bucks for the set. But I think that is a really good uh, accessory to have. And if you want even more extension, I mean, it's not a lot more, but you can, you can certainly do that because the bit check does come with a wrap adapter. Or if you just need, just want to use that wrap adapter instead of the longer one, you can do that too. You know, of course, like I said, there is some play in it, but that's because it's not a permanently fixed shaft. But having these two together is a great combination. All right, so I have a couple different types of uh, Phillips drive screws here. I have a lathe screw, drywall screw, and this is just like a hinge screw. And I want to check the fit on the Phillips drive. Yeah, it seems to fit pretty good, especially on the hinge screw. This is a lathe screw made by a different manufacturer. Let's see how the Phillips bit holds. Uh, it holds pretty good. All right, let's see the drywall screw. Drywall screws usually fit pretty good. Any brand of drywall screws usually fit well. That fits pretty daggone good too. And oh yeah, not getting any cam out whatsoever. Now, of course, screwing in wood is not the most ideal situation, especially if the hole isn't fully pre-drilled. Uh, but that's, I mean, that's, that's a really good grip. Um, it, the magnetism also I noticed, the magnet is extremely strong. Vera, every screwdriver I've ever had from Vera has amazing magnetism. So that is another plus to this product. That does just fine. I mean, look at this thing. It's a small screw, but that's a good magnet on this boy. And I haven't came down using using this whatsoever, like not, not even one time. Now I am a little upset that they don't have the laser etching on the bits. 
like they do with the, the regular screwdrivers, just because they bite so good into any fastener you're trying to drill. The laser etching is a freaking game changer. That should be standard for all of their, their screwdriver bits, in my opinion. So overall, this is a really solid setup. The utility and the versatility of this tool, it's just really nice to have uh, if you're a service tech. Hell, if you do anything, even if you're you know a homeowner, DIYer, weekend warrior, this is a great tool to have. Uh, no matter if you're a professional or homeowner, it's the versatility of this thing is just absolutely awesome. And then on top of that, for the price point that you get it, you also get you know the carrying case where you can put it on your belt, throw it in there, and you got six screwdrivers in one. You have a short and long version. You have your quick access to your bit storage. You have amazing magnetism always with Vera screwdrivers and the handle on a Vera screwdriver is unlike any other. However, that is all I have for you guys today. I certainly want to thank you all for being a part of this community and supporting the channel. If you enjoyed the video, please consider liking and subscribing and let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I always love to hear from you guys and I respond to literally just about every comment, even the trolls. I, I respond to them just to get some laughs. But that's it, guys. I will see you all on the next one. Peace.